everybody, I'm Peak Performance Photography. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today's video is going to be pretty special. As you guys can see in the title, I'm receiving my G put today. Uh, for those of you who have not watched previous videos, I'll leave it right here or I'll leave it in the description, probably both. Uh, so you guys can go check it out because it's a pretty good video. It's just showing me repairing the hood and sending it out. And today, hopefully today, I've been told this today by the company that I'm going to be receiving it uh, back today, painted and all finished. Uh, I just have to put these back on. I might have them put it on. These are for the, uh, the hood scoop and the, uh, the vents on either side. So I'm either gonna have them put it on on there or I'm gonna put it on myself. It's no big deal So yeah, I got the money all set. I'm gonna as soon as they call me. It's about noon I was kind of hoping it would be done in the morning, but it's already noon. I haven't gotten a call yet I'm hoping it's still gonna be today. They told me no later than today. I dropped it off yesterday So it took them about a day or so almost 36 hours or so I'd say I hope so I hope it's gonna be done today because that'll be great I can get this video out. It's uh, currently Tuesday uh, this video will probably go up Wednesday or so. Uh, if, if the hood gets delivered today, I'll try to do as much as I can. As of now, I haven't seen the hood since I last dropped it off a month ago in the last video back in like mid-March or early March or so. Uh, so it's been about a month since I've actually seen the hood, but uh, I've been told uh, that it's coming out pretty good. After all the repairs and everything, it comes out much better. Uh, I also got to find a place to store the hood. I'd like to put it uh, with my grill in my room, probably on that wall or something, but that's not going to happen. So I'll just keep it somewhere like in a garage or somewhere, somewhere safe. Uh, uh, so that's the plan. Uh, I want to wait till they call me and while I'm waiting I want to show you guys why you're coming up. So aside from the big news coming from the hood There are a bunch of other good news coming up as it's almost car show season even though the weather doesn't prove my point. Uh, it's pretty crappy outside. I've been crappy for the past couple days already. Saturday's supposed to be nice. I'm working Saturday. That sucks. But Sunday, I got a car show at URI. I'm going to be staying over at my buddy's dorm that night. That's the plan. I'm going to be trying to get there Saturday night, stay over to Sunday morning. The URI car show is called Roadie Rides if you guys are in the area. I'll leave the event in the description below. It's a really good show. I went there two years ago. It was really fun and just a good time. But now I got my buddy there, so hopefully it'll be fun as well. Other car shows such as Newport's Cars and Coffee are also coming up. May 4th is going to be the first show. I, I want to say Marble Mansion, but it could be at Ford Adams. I'm not 100% sure yet. I got to go check everything. But uh, I'm planning on being there unless I get called into work. But if I don't, I'm definitely going to be there. So if you guys are around the area, Newport area, Rhode Island, uh, come on down. It's going to be a great show. It always is. Usually the first, last one, and the ones at uh, Ford Adams are really big. And Salve, this is the ones they have at Salve Regina. is pretty good as well. So that's my plans. That's what's going to be coming up on the channel. A bunch of car shows as usual, you know. Uh, there's a McLaren Boston. I believe it's May 16th. I want to say. I believe it's two Sundays after the uh, or two Saturdays after the uh, Newport Cars and Coffee. So I'm love to go to that one because I already know that they got their red and black Senna going there, and uh, that's gonna be cool as well. So I'd love to see a Senna. I never saw it before in real life. Uh, I've seen a lot of pictures. I had a chance to go see one last year at Dream Rides in Connecticut. Never got a chance to go just because me and my buddy Roger, we you saw uh, me and him go to uh, McLaren Boston two years ago already. It's almost been two years since we went to McLaren Boston. And I filmed that video. We were supposed to go last year to Dream Rides in Connecticut, and we we're gonna. He was gonna drive me up there in a Civic and uh, spend the day up there and just check out all the cool cars. But it ended up raining, and so I said, Nah, let's just cut it. It's probably not gonna be any big cars. My gosh, the lineup was insane. I regret it so much. I'm sure he does too as well because. It, it was incredible. They had at least one Senna, two P1s, but I'll put up like a video of them uh, from some YouTuber or somebody. I'll credit them in the comments section below of uh, what the actual show was last year. It was incredible. I absolutely regret not going. So that's my plans this summer. As of now, there's a bunch of shows coming up as well. So I work every other weekend, but I'm sure I'll try to find something around it because after school, I'm gonna be working every day, which sucks, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta pay off for the gas. Yeah, besides that, uh, I got some new diecast cars coming in as well. I got a really special one that I uh, found off the marketplace. Uh, it's it, I got it for a steal. I don't think this woman who's selling it to me knows how much this car actually goes for. It's uh, I will say it's a pretty old car. The car itself is old from the 80s. I'm pretty sure this car was popular. Still popular now, one of the most popular cars in the world. Probably one of my most favorite ones. You guys will see what it looks like. I might make a video on my diecast collection. I mean, I got a, a lot of cars. I'll say that for another video. Now I'm just gonna wait for them to call me for the hood while I edit this video. I don't really know what else to do. I've been home for like the past two hours just chilling out. I, I don't really have anything to do, so I'll go edit this video. And uh, next time you guys see me, I'll either be picking up the hood, I, I'll be picking up the Jeep, or the Jeep will be home already. We'll see. Three days later. So yeah, it's been three days since I last recorded that last clip. Uh, so basically, to sum it up, they were just having troubles. It was taking them a little longer than I expected to actually complete the hood because there were a lot of pinholes and everything that was wrong. And they just 
said that, hey, it's gonna take a couple more days. Um, so I figured like, all right, I wanna stop by today. I wanna see how it is, see how much it's gonna cost me for any extra work that they had to do. Because uh, like you guys saw in the previous videos, it's it was pretty bad, the hood. It was a lot of damage to it. They mainly had concerns about the fitment. It wasn't lining up properly, the hood with the uh, rest of the body of the Jeep. They had to like custom fabricate some stuff and do what they had to do. I'm not mad at anything. I just, I'm just happy that I'm gonna be getting the Jeep soon. Uh, so like I said, I just went there. I just came back maybe 10, 15 minutes ago and uh, they confirmed to me that I will be having it today. It's gonna run me about 500 bucks for the whole thing. They're gonna save me a uh, couple bucks for the, uh, because I'm friends with uh, the son there. So that's always good news, you know, save me some money. I appreciate all the work and everything. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be, end up picking it up today. And like I said, I just got back from there and while I was there, they were just like, hey, uh, so while you're here, why don't you just pick up the old hood and just bring it back to your house? So now I get the whole old hood back. You can't see it, but I got it in the back of my dad's truck. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Very dusty. You know what a guy looks like. It's just a regular Jeep hood with the Nomad sticker on it. I will say it's probably not my smartest uh, purchase I have bought for the Jeep. I probably could have bought a lot of other stuff for the price and or I could have just saved my money, which I probably which I regret doing. I probably should have just saved my money. I think that would have been a better idea. But now I already got it. It's no big deal. And I got a car show coming up this weekend. I'm going to try and make a video on it. Uh, hopefully it does come out good. It's going to be at URI, as I mentioned before, so that's going to be fun. Uh, why don't I just go show you guys the uh, the old hood. So this is my dad's truck. This is a truck I've been using for the last couple of days while I haven't had my Jeep on hand. There's the old hood. Uh, so, like I said, it's just a stock Wrangler hood that I had. I'm going to end up keeping it just so... In case I ever need to replace it, this is not a scratch. I'm pretty sure it's not. No, it's just dust. So I want to go ahead and clean it right now and uh, wait for them to call me. But here's the thing. Here's the bad news. The bad news is I'm going to go watch Avengers Endgame today. And that's at 3.30. Well, no, it's at 5 o'clock. But we're leaving here at 3.30 to go up to Providence. So if they call me around that time, I'm not going to be home. And I'm going to have to pick it up Friday, which is tomorrow. Which, once again, is no big deal. I don't really care that much. It just sucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna have it today, but maybe I'll get, end up getting lucky and they'll have it done today. Uh, all I know is when I went there, it was still on the cart. The Jeep just didn't have a hood on it. It was all painted and everything. They're just gonna install it and then they're gonna call me when it's ready. Hopefully, I'm guessing around noon, one o'clock, it might be done. All right, let's take this hood out. Uh, hopefully, I don't scratch anything because uh, this thing is not that light. A little dusty. There it is. As you can see, it is uh, very dusty, as I mentioned before. But uh, I'm gonna try and clean that off. You can see where the old hinges used to be. I wonder how the hinges actually came out. I didn't actually look at them. But I imagine that some of this paint, because it's been here for 11 years, stripped off. Also, for those wondering, the uh, Nomad sticker is not going back on the Jeep. It is no longer a Nomad, I guess you could say. Now it's just Hellcat. As I'm not naming it Hellcat. But uh, yeah, I figured, you know, I mentioned that. Uh, I want to go make a quick montage i guess of me cleaning it uh, it shouldn't take that long it's only just this part so uh let me go get my cleaning stuff let's start cleaning pretty much all i've got for this part of the video the only left the only part left for this video is to actually see the hood when it's done but that's what it looks like now i don't know where in the world i'm gonna store this i also noticed that when i was washing it i'm not gonna have my uh windshield washer thing i don't i don't know what i do with that i'm like 100 percent sure the other one doesn't have it so i guess i'm gonna go without it also i don't have the hood stops or the hood latch the hood latch no those are hood latches i still got those that the, the, hood, the rubber stoppers, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not gonna have those anymore. But it's no big deal, I don't take off, I don't take the windshield down anyway. I gotta find a place to store this. Might store with my old tires and bumpers and everything. Hopefully next time I see you guys, or hopefully next time you guys see me, I'll have my Hellcat hood. After about five months of having this hood and not having it actually on my Jeep, it's finally here and here it is.
think will be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, all these videos building up to the actual actual finish, the finale of the Jeep, it was actually kind of fun. Uh, really entertaining to make. I hope you guys did enjoy the series. Uh, that's not really a series. It's just me building the Jeep and working on the hood. It's great to see it finally completed and what it's looking like today. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.